everyone and welcome to the Pixie Pros in It podcast. This is episode 47. Um, my name is Sibylla. I'm a little bit of a brain fart here. What's my name? <laughs> my name is Sibylla and I'm coming to you um, from Aviado, Italy, where I currently live with my family. That is my husband, our two cats, and our two children. And occasionally one of those last four will pop into this recording. It happens all the time. <laughs> That's how my podcast is. Um, it's Sunday the 7th? The 7th of February. It is a super rainy day. I could have not picked a worse day for podcasting. <laughs> but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I think it's, um, the light is not too bad. The, uh, oh, could be worse. Um, this is a crafty podcast where I talk about knitting, pushing, spinning, whatever else. I get into a little bit of, you know, live stuff and so on. As always, everything I will, build, uh, everything I talk about, I link in the description box below. And, um, you can find me on Instagram as well if you would like to, you know, more day-to-day -day updates. Um, then on Instagram that is Pixie Pearls and Knits. I will blend that in right here. Too. So, uh, this is one of the last few episodes that I will record in this house. Moving day is coming fast. Watch that later. I'm wearing a handmade piece today that is the Weekender sweater by um, Andrew Mowry. I made this in New Peaks Will of the Indies. Um, yes. So, let's jump right in with all the crafty goodness I have for you. I have one finished object to show for you guys. I'm gonna put your shorty socks and I put them on sock blockers for you. <laughs> so, a pair of shorty socks. Um, I did 15 rows of ribbing and then just 10 rows before the heel. The yarn I use is, uh, is Geek Castle Fibers and her free broomstick colorway, which is an older colorway and um, that I don't think she has in stock anymore. I checked her website and I couldn't find it. So, um, yes. Um, it is this wonderful variegated blue red. Not blue. There's no blue in this. White, red, brownish. Color. There's occasional a little bit of um, yellowish in here. Really love it. And I did a little bit something different. Um, let me show you this one. That one is nicer. I did a fresh lips kiss heel, but instead of um, working it, it with knits and pearls, I only knitted it so it would look like a gorgeous stitch heel. Oh, and I kind of really like how it looks. I love the look. I think it would look even better if it was a contrasting heel. And I fudged a bit on the other heel, so I don't know if you can see it. But right here, I did do two rows of like. So I knit it per, per, knit and purled, and then I did two rows where I did it the proper way. And obviously I have a little bit of a gap. It happens. It doesn't bother me too much. It's on my foot. Who's was going to see it. And if someone would see it and could point that out, then I have deep respect for them. Because did you know what you're doing? Just saying. This is the only finished object they have. I do have two works in progress to show you guys. So it was a smaller one. This is a bag from Stitching Plaza I've had for a couple of years. So I put another sock on the needles. Oops, 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 oops. Ooh, good thing I pulled that out because that almost was a pulled out needle. So another sock. I'm in the I'm working with the heel flap in case you're wondering. So um this yarn is also Geektastic Fibers. And um this one is her pink purple light cyber colorway. I don't know if she has this one still in stock. I'm not sure. Have to check. But I really love how this is turning out. I love the color. Um, this is the yarn cake and how it looks. I think it's beautiful. I'm trying to work a little bit on the older stash yarn that I have. Um too is so just you know just using the brand new one that I wanted and bought and not that I try not to buy that much yarn but we all do yarn collecting hobby yes anyway and so I'm doing a heel flap 
with the gusset later on. I'm not quite through with it yet. I'm almost done with it. Um, so my mom taught me to knit socks with a heel flap. And the way she taught me, and to make this counting easier, um, because you have to set down your knitting or something, is when you um do you do a knit row and when you do your purl row on the back side to knit the first two stitches and the last two stitches so it just give a little ridge and then you can count two four six eight you know and so I know I'll make it a lot easier to count and that makes it easier to pick up your stitches too when you pick it up later on and it, it makes like kind of a, like a neat edge too on the way you pick up your stitches. It I personally think it looks very good. And I haven't done a gossip in a while, so I figured I'd do this. Yeah, so that's my work in progress, number one. Careful so I don't drop any stitches. That would be the worst part at that point, to drop stitches. And the second work in progress I have is, and I finally picked it back up, I promised I would, it, the Find Your Fade Shawl, also by Andrew Mary. Okay, so let me show you. I am far, I've got to, and I am in the fourth color. Right, so all of this yarn is Geekastic Fibers. And, yeah, I think this is the best way to show. So we got our dim spot, Wanda, looking for Nargles, and this newest color is John Locke. In the, in the middle part, I keep a stitch marker from the corner of craft, it's a little, I would kind of beaded stitch marker. I really like her stitch markers for the shawl, for um, when I have to, you know, um, have a middle decrease and it's like how Inner Maori writes her patterns, I have to place the marker back in, in the wrong, in the wrong side row. I don't like that. And it's really nice and easy for me to take out the marker, do my stitch, place the marker where it's supposed to be in one go because I can just open it because it has the little earring clamps, you know. And that's what I really love. And for, so, if you need to, you know, move your marker in between stitches, the ones that open like that are, I, I think, fabulous. And the last time I worked on this, I was still, I placed this stitch marker. I got this from Slip Stitch Studio. And it's a cursy one. It says F this. Uh, so place this one to see where I stopped and then when I picked it back up because I had worked oh, well, well, I lost my mind I don't know where my left and right is right now. I'm sorry so yes yeah, so I placed this one right here right so I could see how much I did since I picked this back up and now that I've showed you on the podcast I can move it up here and then we'll see how much I work in between each podcast um, yeah, so I really, really love how it's looking, especially now with the fourth color, and you can really see how it's coming along now, like, the colors. I think it's gonna look fabulous when it's done. Um, uh, yeah. Um, the one thing I noticed, my mistake, happens to me a lot in shawls. You think my stitch count doesn't end up being right. So, in this garter stitch section, you're supposed to start increasing fairly early. So, I did the, the amount of rows and then I counted. And I'm missing 20 stitches. So, um, I'm kind of sneaking them in here before the next lace section and then I'll count before the lace section and make sure I have now. All the stitches um uh ready and in here because yeah I don't know I don't even know how it happens I probably forget uh, a yarn over something or occasionally or don't decrease right or something that's what I think it is I never notice when it happens um 
but it happens to me this isn't the first time this has happened uh and it happens to me a lot and sometimes i'm just like who cares i don't care it's gonna work out in the end anyway especially if it's not like with nicer stuff but this time i'm gonna try to make it as right as possible <laughs> and not some of the frog bag if i can just you know add a few extra stitches um yes so this is what John Log John Log looks on the cake. It has lots of dark blue in it. I love that dark blue. It is one of my favorites in this so far. So I dropped all my notes. I have to pick them up later. And that's that for all of the crafty stuff. It's not a lot. I'm trying not to start too much right now. And I'm trying to focus on working on a few projects, one or two at a time. Uh, because like I mentioned earlier, moving is coming soon. We're moving in March. We have a set date when our stuff is gonna get picked up now. This first week of March and then we're gonna be in a hotel for six-ish weeks, you know, in between the two places. We're moving out of our house, we're going to a hotel. Then we go, and then we're going to be in a hotel again until we find a house, until it's moving ready. All these things. So that's going to happen. I'm trying not to bore you guys with it. We're done. I'm down to the nitty gritty part of moving up, like reopening every or every closet, every wardrobe, and I mean now it's the point of like okay, now I can start throwing things away that I wasn't able to throw away a couple months ago, like medicine you know or old body lotions and that kind of things so that I'm like okay, I'm not gonna use them anymore it's it's clear it's final go or things we were still using up until that point or well, could have I had to borrow I went to all of our cleaning supplies and gave those away and that kind of things so that's what's happening now going through the closets clothes um, washing all the stuff because we, because, um, we don't move ourselves. Everything gets packed up and moved for us. It's an insurance reason because if something breaks during the move, the moving company needs to reimburse us. And if something that's we pack it, then we're out of the money. And that can be like, you know, if I break an expensive piece of furniture like if our couch would break an hour move or our tv that's that's a lot of money and it can add up if you're unlucky so we're only going to pack certain things like i'm going to package my yarn i'm going to you know pack our clothes and certain things that we have in the attic you know like christmas decoration and stuff like that in there that's all packed and ready to go like i've wrapped bubble wrapped that and all that kind of stuff and that's just we're going to just have to pull the boxes out and the leaving pack company is basically like, okay, you pack this, we're not responsible for that. So that's what's going on right now. Um, yeah, not much else actually because that's taking up the majority of our time with like, you know, getting everything ready, paperwork, getting dates figured out, and so on. That's just what's happening right now. I'm hoping that everything will go smooth. It's it's mentally very exhausting until you get your dates. And then you're like, okay, there's still so much to do. You know, what needs to go? Like I said, it's, it's a whole, whole lot of things that still gotta happen, that already have happened. I'm just glad when it's over, I'm ready to go. If I could, at mentally, I'm at the point of, if they will come next week and pack it up, fine, let's do it. I would be good with that. I'm ready to get going <laughs> that way, yes. But that's kind of like what we're doing right now. And um, I'm going to record uh, some extra episodes for March because I just don't know if I will be able to record um every two weeks while i'm in a hotel room how the setup is the noise level 
light. I don't know. I don't want to risk it. I don't know how stressed out I'm going to be. So I'm already going to pre-record two episodes. And then I'm going to... They're going to be special episodes for you guys. That I'm going to record. And they're going to come in March. And then um, hopefully everything will start going back to normal. April-ish time frame. So this month is still going to be normal. Then have to then March and then hopefully April we're on a new location somewhat settled in we'll see I maybe I have time to vlog a little bit during our travels as well then I would um, upload that in a clip as well we'll see right so I'm gonna stop here now I'm gonna say goodbye and uh, get this ready for YouTube so you can all see me babbling more about our move. <laughs> So I will see everyone in two weeks time again. Bye!